Now in Britain, a new bill designed to tackle crime by using information stored in cyberspace is already being branded a violation of privacy. Let's get more now from RT's Polly Boyko. She's in London. Polly, explain to us how is this law supposed to work? Bill, the way it would work if passed is that the police and security services would have unbridled access to your internet data by obliging mobile phone service providers and internet providers to store that internet history, your data, for a year. Now, uh, the government say that it's a necessary move in order to uh, safeguard the public and to fight crime that's being organized through the internet increasingly, such as extremism and paedophile rings, but civil liberties groups are up in arms about it. They say it's an, an infringement of your civil rights. They've called it the Snoopers Charter. And we hit the streets of London a little bit earlier to talk to the general public about what they thought of the prospect of the government being able to snoop in on their email history, their web browsing history, and uh, their social networking history. Let's take a listen to what they told us. How would you feel about the police having access to your personal internet search history? Uh, not so good without my consent. I think as long as I gave my consent, I wouldn't mind because I can see the benefit of it being used um, to help solve crime. But I would feel a bit exposed if all my data was just wide open for them to, to have a look at. It's not right. It's total privacy and they're just going into it. So would not be happy for it. I wouldn't mind, but only if it was authorised by a magistrate under very certain conditions, i.e. there was a reason for them to do it in the first place. I, I think like the law is now, I wouldn't like them to be freely allowed to be able to basically monitor my communication on the internet without any reason. I think you let them have control of one area of your life or let them in one area, they're just, they have access to other areas, I don't know. I think those are freedoms that should remain government hands off. Now, the Home Secretary, Theresa May, she's behind the draft bill, and she's been lobbying it quite aggressively, and some critics saying in rather a bizarre fashion, actually. She said in an interview with The Sun today that criminals, terrorists, and paedophiles will want MPs to vote against this bill, whereas victims of crime, police, and the public will want them to vote for it. And it's a question of whose side you're on. Now, I've got Nick Pickles, who's the director of Civil Liberties Group, Big Brother Watch, in the studio here with me. Now, Nick, whose side are you on? Um, are all the people opposed to this legislation, criminals, terrorists, and paedophiles, as the Home Secretary suggests? No, and it's blatantly ridiculous to say that everybody opposed to this bill falls into those categories. There are people from every political party, senior law enforcement officers, technical experts about the internet, even Tim Berners-Lee warning about this bill. So I think it was a very crude argument and one that didn't help anybody from the Home Secretary. But we've got um, Interpol saying that cybercrime is now one of the fastest growing criminal activities on the planet. I mean, the government's right for looking for some sort of solution to this growing problem. Well, and the big thing about this bill is that if you're looking for a needle in a haystack, you don't solve a problem by adding lots more hay. We should have new powers, but they should be used against individuals and known operations. What this bill proposes is that everybody in the country's behaviour is monitored and we're all treated as suspects. Well, there you have it, a very controversial idea from the Home Office bill and one that might not go to, down too well with the rest of the government. We've got reports that Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg is preparing to oppose it because of the prospect of infringement of civil rights here in the UK. An ongoing story. Thanks very much indeed. Polly Boyker live there in London.